Oh, oh, yeah. I I have a math class. We just played a game that had a little introduction. I'm going to repeat things for the people who weren't with us today. On the board, you see some number lines on the left and some pattern block shapes on the right. So imagine that you have a kindergartner who is confused about fractions and comes to you after school and wants an explanation. And this is what's confusing. On the number lines, it looks like one half is bigger than one third, and one third is bigger than one sixth. And this makes sense to the kindergartner because if they were to take, say, a pancake and draw on it and say, this is a half, that's a nice big piece. Whereas if they were to take a sick of the pancake, then that's a much smaller piece. Even as a kindergartner, they had to share things now that they know a half is bigger than a sick. But with the pattern blocks, it looks like the opposite happens. On the top, we have one half and it looks like half is green. Then the next one, we have one third, and it looks like one third is red, and is green of the red. And on the bottom, we have one sixth, because you can take six of these greens to make the yellow, and it looks like one sixth is also green. So playing with these blocks, one half looks like, looks like it's green, one third looks like it's green, one sixth looks like it's green, now it looks like they are the same. They're all green. It's not true anymore that one half and one third and one sixth are different sizes. They're all the green triangle block. So which is right? Is it true that a half is bigger than a third and a third is bigger than a sixth? Or is it true that sometimes they can all be the same? So we talked about this and what words we could use to explain to a confused kindergartner what's happening. If you're listening at home, pause right now. We really mean it. And then we'll use some of our words to explain it. Okay, pause. Okay, welcome back. Thank you for pausing and listening. We really believe you. Okay. If you were talking about sharing that cookie or pancake or something, you could take the kindergartner and aside and say, look, this block here is one sixth. If I wanted one half of the yellow, it would be a red block. Showing that on the screen, if I want one half of the yellow, then it's not the green anymore. It's the red block is half of the yellow. So in this case, one half is a red. In this case, one half is a green. So it's not true that when I'm looking at this top thing, one half really is a green, it's that compared to the blue, one half is a green. Whereas compared to the yellow, one half is a red. It doesn't make sense to say that the half is one block, it has to be two blocks compared to each other. Just like if I said half of my income or half of Bill Gates income, they're very different things. How big a fraction piece is depends on how big the whole is that you're taking the fraction out of. On the left-hand side, all of these number lines were the same link for one. So you could see that one half was bigger than a third and one third is bigger than a sixth. On the other side, we were confused because what counted as a whole kept changing. First, the blue was a whole, then the red was a whole, then the yellow was a whole. And so what counts as a half kept changing. We just didn't notice because only the top one had the half. Hopefully that makes sense. Maybe you had your own words for this. <laughs> 